Hello, my friends, and welcome back to PlayStation Live for me 3. It's been a good day so far. I'm okay. joined by Meredith once again. Thank you. And I am joined by Darren from Epic Games. Hello, sir. Hey, thanks for having me out here. It's our pleasure. Welcome to the program and welcome to Fortnite because we are talking about a game I am amped about. <laughs> Uh, yeah. We just spoke downstairs, and basically Fortnite was like designed for me. This is what I always say, it's one of my dream games. Uh, it combines a lot of different genres in a lot of interesting ways. So tell me a little bit about how that kind of perfect storm came to be. Yeah, so we, we call Fortnite our cooperative action building game where you craft, uh, scavenge, and ultimately build giant forts, all to defend them against hordes of creatures. And you get to do it in a giant procedurally generated world. It's like every word in there is like, it's like it's custom like built. Science tailored. <laughs> Darren is like measuring my sleeves. He's like, this looks like the right kind of game. Um, but, and you know what, it's, it's been, you guys have been developing it for a while yep. and you guys have probably learned some lessons along the way. What kind of, what evolved it and brought it to where it is today? Uh, let's see, I think the biggest thing that's changed through uh, participation with, with our community is we used to have world ownership be, uh, be held by a single player. So that would be ah. if you spent 20 hours in a, in a world and then I came and visited you, I would lose all my stuff. Oh, and everyone's okay. like, you know, like there, you know, Minecraft works that way. There's actually a lot of games that actually have that world ownership. But man, every time we're like, we want to make co-op. And so like it was, a, it was kind of a little bit rough when you would join stuff and you lose all your equipment, all the stuff that you had earned. So we went back to the drawing board a little bit and now uh, the world's like, we host all the world, so therefore you can bring your stuff to any person's game. And, and I would say that's a big transformation from the old days of one of the things we learned. is like, people don't like losing stuff, they want to bring their stuff everywhere. So I know it sounds obvious. People but, don't like losing stuff. Yeah, it sounds stuff. obvious, but but initially that, that, wasn't, that nope. wasn't how the game worked. That's so. what game design is all about yeah. though, man, right? It's yeah. like finding what works and what doesn't. Yeah. And, and you guys have this amazing loot system, which I want to talk about. Yeah. I want to talk about the fort building. But really at the core, it's about repelling these huge waves of monsters, right? Yep. Can you tell people a little bit about how that's designed, like what the moment to moment is like for action? Yeah, so the, so the moment to moment, it, uh, you start by gathering all your materials. You've got to get uh, um, crafting ingredients to build your guns, get your ammunition ready, and then have enough uh, uh, resources to build your forts. And we have a huge amount array of of, of different mission types, everything from rescuing people, which focuses more about like exploration, or we have build missions where it focuses around actually building, makes sense, right? And then we have uh, missions like our Fight the Storm, which is an amalgam of all of those where you, you, you've got to gather resources, build a base, and then you throw a switch, and that summons the storm, and that's where all the creatures come from. And those creatures try to come and destroy it, and the players have to hold the line. And the, the creatures are crazy, there's artillery, propane tank costs, they carry little propane tanks and they try to get close to your base, you've got to destroy them beforehand. So yeah, and it's like, and so we, we dump all these tools in the hands of the player, we let them play the way they want and basically solve the mission. So unlike in previous versions, this is a little less defensive and you're actually now going a little more offensive. Uh, we, we, over time, have actually grown that. We started from that core fortress defense, but people like to like, hey, I want to clear out this monster encampment. So there are people like who just like to shoot things. We incorporated mission, mission <laughs> stuff to that, go figure. Talk a little mission bit stuff. about the monster design, because they have a very unique look. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we went through a couple of iterations of that, and, it, and we started out with a very grim and gritty concept many years back, and it was like, they were awesome and, and, and amazing, at least from, to my eye, but some of the artists were like, no, you know, we really want to push us, ourselves out of this box and do stylization, and then that came, that's where this came to be, and the creature design now is a bit more fun, vibrant, they're, they're, they're still a little grim. I won't say why. Sometimes, sometimes people don't know why they're a little grim. But the flip side is, is that they also are fun and they're sort of a little, a little cartoony at times, and that's cool. And, and on the flip side, that stylization and that color goes into the characters and the heroes as well, which is a huge part of Fortnite that I have to hear you talk about because it also is right up my alley. Yeah. So the, the hero development was super cool. Like we, we evolved out of a, a little bit of like. Our, our current day survivors, the people that you rescue, sort of represent the, the, um, the inhabitants of Fortnite. And once upon a time, you could play as those guys, but we we're like, oh, no. we really wanted to make our guys feel a little bit more super heroic. You know, we started, we, we got our classes into the game. We've got four classes. We've got the ninja, which is, has double jumping, and our constructor, which, which allows us to amplify building. It allows you to, um, they basically reflect damage or auto repair repair walls or the outlander uh, allows you to see treasure through through uh, walls while they're exploring cool. or or the That's commando who has who, yeah right and if you <laughs> like to explore that's your class 
And then, the, and then our soldier, which is a, a, a sort of the run and gun class for the people that like to shoot things, throw grenades. But all those things, once we had those concepts, we were like, well, we want these guys to be bigger, tougher, and they feel like they are special and unique. So that's where this new iteration of, of the hero designs and where you see our new art. Can the uh, monsters actually attack your forts and destroy them? And is there a way for you to rebuild certain parts or do you have to start all over again? Uh, so that's a great question. So we've got basically two different aspects of the game. We have our mission, our mission areas where you join up with other players and you go and execute a mission. Those missions are like you just get a session together, you go into that procedurally generated world and you, you save people or, or shoot a giant laser into the storm and dispel it. Or you go back to your, your home base, and that's your area where you can persistently build, and you can bring resources back and grow that fortress over time. And the, more, and the bigger the area that you hold with that fortress, the more the map unlocks. So we, we have a best of both worlds where it's like, yeah, this is the area where you, you and then you can invite your friends in to play that too. But that's where you can go and nest. Let's talk about the glowing blueprint that you hold when you're building, because it's my favorite thing. <laughs> um, but also, we're kind of seeing in this footage, and that, oh, well, we were seeing in that footage. Uh, the ability for you to build, construct, and kind of customize on the fly, yeah. which is interesting to me because that's a design challenge, right? To be able to, hey, I need to be fighting. I also need to be able to quickly rebuild and repair my fort. I mean, how did your designers and the UI folks tackle that challenge? Yeah, I mean, that was one of the things we really uh, wanted to land uh, relatively early. and and. And the, the design pattern that you saw allows players to just uh, edit those at that three by three squares and create different pieces. So they can be like, if you want to build a door, you, you remove two pieces. You want to build a window, you remove one. And it's basically that, that simplicity allows players to sort of master building. And then the same thing is true when you want to repair a hole in your fort. It's, it's easy to hold a pattern, just stamp it down, and you can make things quite quickly in the world. Um, and it was one of the things we, we asked about early on. We wanted like building to look good, and so uh, you know, and and one of the ways you do that is like you you make it easy for people to do. Can that. you do that when you're laying traps and, and building your little mazes to stop people from getting into your fort? Yeah, I mean that's what you generally when you look at our advanced players, they they roll out and they'll they'll lay down all the flooring and then they'll switch and then they'll <laughs> they'll lay down all the little fences so they can shoot over them and then some one of the teammates will come in and then they'll lay down the floor traps. And we'll be a huge variety of, of traps, everything from like spike traps, as you'd expect, electrical traps, but we also have push traps that can fling uh, up. <laughs> yeah. or, um, yes. and, and, and our expert players, they'll be able to fling uh, uh, creatures into the air and then hit them with another trap and then knock them off cliffs. Ooh. So we allow the players, again, the, 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 the tools are up to them to what they do, and the procedural worlds let them play around with that. That's so fun. Before, before we let you go, I have to ask about loot. I mean, tell right. me about that sweet, sweet loot, because you guys really <laughs> emphasized that in the big trailer that came out recently. I got to know. Yeah, so we, we have a, a loot system. It's pretty, it's pretty deep. It's, an R, it's RPG. It's a, for those people that are like the Diablo style of rarity of from common to, to legendary, that's the kind we have. And you, you uh, are able to earn schematics. Uh, and, and those schematics are the plans that you are able to build in the world. And so you can level them up and they have different rarity and then, and then basically you carry those with you throughout the game. And one of the cool things, at least we think so for co-op, uh, allows you to craft those guns and then you can give them to other players. So if you have a huge library of schematics and your buddy is over there and he's like, I don't, I'm just starting, it's like, it's okay, you can give them a cool gun and they can run around and shoot it. You I know, it, we, we wanted to incorporate that level of cooperative into the everything, game. Everything, everything that I want. <laughs> uh, and I think you guys announced, made some announcements today about a couple little PlayStation goodies. Maybe you could, if oh, you yeah, don't mind going into Oh it. yeah, that's right. We, we um, for uh, PlayStation, we are doing a, a, a set of heroes that are all in sort of dressed in their PlayStation blues. So you yeah. can see them. They look pretty cool. They sort of let you rep your your, your PlayStation uh, heroes, basically. It's pretty. They're pretty awesome looking. All right, awesome. Sweet. Well, you know what else I think is awesome? You and this game. So I really appreciate you coming on and telling us about it. Meredith, thank you so much for joining me My again. Pleasure. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, that was Fortnite. And we will actually have a little more detail about what Darren was referring to on PlayStation Blog. So go to PlayStation.blog to check it out later tonight. And we have more coming to you tonight from PlayStation Live from E3. Do not go anywhere. Stay with us. PlayStation.